It happened in my own life, you know. In a long back, maybe 1987 or 88, suddenly I took a decision of going into Mauna. Hmm? Not one day, 48 days, without telling anybody. So I got into my room. And at that time, we had good number of volunteers. They all, they lost their direction. And uh, Guruji is not there, what to do, how to run the organization, how to bring money. So, I am inside the room, the group is outside the room in the hall, and meetings after meetings, and then they were taking, at, many times they were taking the wrong decisions, you know, with great force, I used to get up, go up to the door, open the door, hey, hey, take that. My God, first 10 days, it was, it was really great war was taking place in me. That decision is wrong, I know it, but I can't speak out. I can't tell them what you are doing is wrong. <coughs> and I used to go up to the door and I come back and sit. Tat. So much frustration, so much anger, so much helplessness. I was cursing myself. Why did I take this decision of you know observing Mona for 48 days? And I started studying myself. What is this? What is this? What is this? Finally, I realized my ego is this frustration, this anger, everything is my ego. What is that ego? I have built the organization. Because of me, everything is going on. If I don't take the decision at the right time, if I don't interfere at the right time, things go wrong. Then I have take the, taken the decision. Let organization go to hell. I'm not going to bother. I'm going to sit. Let me watch. It went on. 48 days. And not only 48 days, I extended up to 52 days. <laughs> when I came out, to my surprise, Sadhana Sangama, it has done pretty good job, good money. Hmm? The programs went off very well. And I realized, with me, without me, things go go. <laughs> This is the great freedom I experienced it. With me, without me, in spite of me. <laughs> if one realizes this, he is a realized master. <laughs> then the samarpana happens automatically. I realized, with me it is the same thing. Without me it is the same thing. In spite of me it is the same. What a freedom, what a grace, what a benevolence, you just imagine. This is what the Kriya Yoga does. It is the anxiety in the mind that without me, how things move. This has to dissolve. So what is Swadhyaya here? Swadhyaya means, let me study from where this energy is coming, why this energy is coming, what is the force behind this energy, is it me, if it is me, then who is that me, who is that me, I am doing it, excellent, who is this I, is it possible for me to define that I, is it possible for me to understand that I? 
is it possible for me to give a name to this i no there is no i where is i if you say i i am doing it then define i be like a scientist don't accept anything that is the difference between religion and the spirituality spirituality questions everything yoga questions everything it questions with tapas not inside the ac room with <coughs> no it, it takes everything it sits with it and it questions that it questions that j krishnamurti says tapas means staying with that is tapas if i am going through a crisis let me stay with the crisis i am not going to try to get the answer no i am going to stay with it no seeking mind let me learn to stay with it let me learn to be with it the very concept the mind rejects completely <laughs> how can we stay with pain guru ji how can we stay with something how can we stay with this nonsense stay stay with it find out find out whether you can stay somebody hurt you can you stay with that hurt can you stay with that hurt this is tapas when you stay with that hurt you know what happens you start understanding the hurt you start learning you start listening the story of the hurt if you are trying to create an opposite force no how could that fellow hurt me is not the question what is this hurt i am talking about is the question how could that fellow do is not the solution what is this is the solution when i sit with the hurt hurt tells me look you have created a value in you and you have glorified that value and this value needs recognition you went there in recognition of this value that fellow did not respect this value and you call that as hurt please say this now you come back self study means you come back and you study the value system you have created this is called mana value system so this mana has avamana rakamana durabhimana all what is avamana when this mana when this value which you have nurtured if somebody insults you call that as avamana if somebody pampers then swabhimana dhirabhimana all abhimana but still it is the mana so the mind is full of manas please see this mana is from mana manas have created man mana means the yardstick reference when i was a kid i went through this experience and this experience is the standard experience and i am going to apply this experience everywhere with my kids with my grandchildren this is called mana but you don't realize this mana was good at that time but is dangerous now mind always operates through manas because mind is a blind energy 
It is a blind energy. It does not have any intelligence. Please go, go into the details. So Swadhyaya means when I say I am hurt, I study the hurt impersonally. That is Swadhyaya. Not protecting myself, not holding on to the value systems I have been carrying. Now I drop them, I drop everything. I try to analyze what is this hurt? What is this frustration? I, I study that. I study that. 